There's a new Edward Snowden document revelation, which is interesting more in what it doesn't do rather than what it does do. What I'm talking about is that, as we know, Osama bin Laden was killed in Pakistan at his hideout back in May of 2011. The Pentagon denied for uh, uh, for for quite some time, starting more than a year ago, that it had any records of DNA tests done to confirm that it was indeed Osama bin Laden who was killed. And of course, this fed conspiracy theorists, some saying, well, of course, if uh, if if it's not really bin Laden, then we're not going to be able to even through the submission of a Freedom of Information Act request obtain any information regarding Osama bin Laden's DNA. It turns out that, in fact, based on a document that Edward Snowden has leaked, that a U.S. military lab in Afghanistan actually did analyze DNA from Osama bin Laden's corpse and was able to confirm his identity shortly after he was killed by that Navy SEAL team uh, commando team. And the Washington Post reported that classified intelligence budget files provided by NSA leaker Edward Snowden confirmed this. The Post reports that the tests, quote, provided a conclusive match. We know, Lewis, from my experience submitting these FOIA Freedom of Information Act requests, that even though none of them turned back any information, they all stated in this kind of uh, very similar language that this does not include certain documents or data which if collected secretly or covertly would its its mere existence would also be secret and would not be revealed to me in the first place so we understand this idea that hey freedom of information act all well and good but if we collect certain information in a particular way or it is deemed classified or secret in certain ways then it is exempt from freedom of information act and it seems like that was the case here the issue is wouldn't have uh, this information helped to, I don't know, decrease the conspiracy theories to some extent, or would the existence of that document simply be part of the conspiracy itself? Hey, they faked that document. This doesn't change anything. Yeah, of course. That that would, of course, be what the, uh, the conspiracy theorists say. They say, hey, the government can make up or lie about anything. And for some people, no matter what the government does, everything is a lie or misleading. And I think in general, uh, this, this wouldn't have helped at all. I also believe that instead of the freedom of freedom of information act, it should be called the freedom of some information. Act. Right. It is the freedom of information act as it applies to information that the government has already determined. They have no problem sending to you and is, uh, completely uncontroversial in almost every way. That's really the full name, but it's, that would make a, a really long acronym. So I guess FOIA just makes more sense, you know? Yeah, uh, sounds good. I mean, makes our job easier.